YouTube, this is Jeremiah James, and I've got a guitar lesson per request of a subscriber for Hozier's Almost Sweet Music. This song is difficult to play, so if you are a beginner, I would recommend learning other songs first. Not that you can't play this, just that it will be very frustrating and time-consuming and painstaking if you don't have a lot of uh, guitar knowledge and technique already built into your fundamentals. So, we're going to break this video up into a bunch of parts, but I'm going to start out with those tabs that I played in the beginning and then we'll talk about the chords that you can play for the verse, the bridge, and the chorus afterwards. Um, before I get started, I want to remind you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if this does help you. These take a ton of time. I like doing them. It's fun. It's fun to dissect other people's music and to serve you guys because that's what this YouTube channel is for. It's awesome, but I like to see a little reward in the end back here by you guys subscribing and showing me that you enjoy this channel. Um, other huge thing, I did release my own first song called Rest of My Days. That is available on CD Baby. It's coming soon on Spotify and iTunes, but I will put the link down below. If you support me as a musician and purchase that, I really, really appreciate that as well. Okay, so we have got this part. That's the first part we're gonna learn. Okay, so we're gonna start here with our pinky and our ring finger on the 12th frets of the D and the G string. And our middle finger is going to shadow behind on the 11th fret of the G. And we are going to pluck those two strings and then pull off with our pinky. Then we're going to pick our D string again. We're going to move our index finger to the ninth fret of that G string and then put our middle finger on the top of that on the D string ninth fret. So that first part is like this. And the second part is very similar. Except for you pick that D string twice at the end. So putting both of those together, that sounds as this. Then from there, there's this part. What I'm doing is I'm using my middle finger to play the 9th fret of the D string, moving it to the 10th fret, sliding to the 12th, then placing my index finger on the 9th fret of the D, middle finger on the 10th fret of the A string, and plucking those twice, or strumming them twice. So that part again sounds like this. And putting that together with what we learned before, Okay, so that is the very first thing that's played in the song, and then this is played. Alright, so let's walk through what's going on there. We're going to have our index finger on the 7th fret of the high E string, and we're going to hammer on and pull off very quickly with our pinky onto the 10th fret of the high E string. And what happens after you do that hammer on and pull off, you pluck the seventh fret again, put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the high E, and then move that middle finger to the eighth fret of the B and pluck on that string. So that sounds like this. You're going to do that twice, but you're going to pick twice on that second one on the B string. Then we're going to pick 8th fret of the B, two times on that 7th fret of the high E, and then you're going to move your middle finger to that 8th fret of the high E, 
and then eighth fret of the B again. So all together that sounds like this. One more time. And from there, we can go back to the part we learned earlier. And that is the second part of the song. Like, there's the first lick and there's the second lick. That was the second lick. So one more time with the second lick. Okay, so now we know the first two licks. And by the way, these tabs are something I made up. There's a million ways to play one song. I could play those notes somewhere else on the, on the neck here, but that's just where I chose to play it. So if you're looking for something that might be exactly the recording that Hozier plays, this might not be it. This is just one way to play it. Okay, so from there, we can play some chords finally. We get out of the tab area and the licks and riffs. And we've got a G chord down to this C add nine chord and back to a G. So that sounds like this and you can do a palm mute. I like to sneak in that extra little strum there. After we get back to this G, we're gonna go to an E minor seven. seven and into a C. Okay, let's review that again. I know that's a lot. So we've got this G chord. So you can do a palm mute, strum, C, G. Then we're gonna go to an E minor seven, to a B minor seven, to a C. So at full speed, it sounds like this. And slow it down. And that is what is played in the verse. So one more time with that. All right, so that is the verse. Then there is this pre-chorus part. What I'm doing there is I'm playing an E minor seven. And then this is another version of E minor. I forget what the exact chord name is. So this other E minor chord, going to a C to a G. All right, so that sounds like this again. Actually exiting the pre-chorus and going into the chorus, you leave on the C instead of resolving on that G. So you lead into the chorus with your C chord. And then we get to this part. So that's the chorus. What I'm doing there is I'm playing on this E minor chord. I'm just playing these four strings and I'm leaving my middle finger shadowing behind on the second fret of the high E string. And I'm pulling off with my pinky there.
then I'm plucking my D note here, which is that third fret of the B string. I'm gonna drop my middle finger and play the open high E, and then I'm gonna transition to a G chord and play that twice. And we would run through that progression three times. So here's one. with a G, C, B minor, G, G. So all together, one more time. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this lesson. Um, there is a bridge that I did not include. If you guys want to see another video with the bridge and a few of the other parts that are in the song, I can do a part two of How to Play Almost by Hozier. Just comment below and let me know if that's something that you're looking for. So again, if this helped you, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If it didn't, comment below, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Again, this wasn't for beginners. This was a request from a subscriber and I wanted to give you guys a nice, accurate, and clean way to play Almost by Hozier. So like I said, that's going to be it for this lesson. Hopefully it helped you. Thanks again for watching. Have a good rest of your day.